All right, and welcome back, campaigners. This is David, a.k.a. Faramir4731, and we're picking back up with our Prussia campaign, How Prussia Ruled the World. And we are about at year 1730, and we are going back to take southern Italy. So, we are up against a lot larger force, and I don't think it should be a sweat, especially for our deathhead hussars. And you can see our formation coming forward. But here comes their cav in as well. But shall be no problem for us. We got our squares going. Looks like they were trying to lap around, but they decided to go ahead and smash into my squares. Suits me well. Suits me well. All right. Let's get our guys rolling around. You can see past all the fog, they are way on the other side of town. So, we are going to have to inch our way forward. And, looks like there's a few guys for us to inch our way through here. These Sicilian citizens dying in the streets of wherever the heck we are. But anyways, yes, we're trudging our way through town. Dave, go ahead and hit our flank, which I stupidly have a militia guarding the flank. Not a wise thing. But it's holding in. It's holding in. We got one other lone unit coming in as well, trying to shoot us. But there's a few more as well. I shouldn't forget those guys. As our right wing comes in and sets up. Meanwhile, our left wing is taking care of business pretty well. Even our little crummy militia. Our cab is going to hopefully help smash that cab already in melee with our militia. And then we can get prepared for the next meager unit that's going to take us on. You can see all the hills and stuff. They're going to provide some pain in the butt to maneuver around. But we will try to trudge our way forward. As you can see here, the cav charge did work quite nicely. Time to get reformed up with our militia. As you can see, they are coming in with uh, another line on the left flank. And these two are getting whittled down and the one on the right wing is a goners so let's go ahead and roll our guys through the town a little bit further so we can get out of this little pain in the butt spot where it kind of hampers our ability to really bring our whole army to bear time to run them down get our guys all pushed up so we can prepare for the main force of the Sicilian army to come forward. We're dealing with the little reinforcement armies first, getting them all taken care of, bringing our general forward so we can make sure nothing gets behind us and takes him out. We definitely don't want to lose them. Artillery is almost forward as well. That bodes well for us. Let's go ahead and get our guys uh, scooched over so we can get our artillery set up now they just like coming in this like one at a time mode which is definitely a good thing yeah one more unit to deal with on this left wing and I think it should be downhill sailing from there use my cab as a disruption force so my lines can go ahead and get set up I think I do end up forgetting about that cav, so it's going to get shot down a bit. Oh well, that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. In the right wing, we got somebody coming up on the flank we're going to have to deal with. Time to set the artillery. Get them ready to encourage them to come forward. Alright. Still got some of these units wanting to hang about. Coming back from routing. Time to put them back in routing. Get the death heads over there to help them out. All right, nice. Artillery going to work. Definitely encouraging them forward for sure. All right, let's get these units back in the with the rest of the force. Now this cab is going to worry me a little bit, especially my artillery almost shooting my own artillery. 
That'll definitely make you worry. Luckily, I come out of that quite nice. It's a good reason why you should not target a unit. And you should target the ground near it. So that way, if your artillery is still targeting a unit, you don't end up shooting your own men or your own artillery in the process. But here you can see I ignore what I just tell you and do it the wrong way. Anyways, shows you what I know. Anyway, we're going to keep wrapping this flank if I can get my guys set. The darn fence was causing me problems. And you can see they have weaseled their way behind us. But I won't need to be in square with those guys not around. But we are going to need to shift some units to prepare to deal with the cab. So, I think the one in the center is a perfect candidate since his uh, opposing unit has been routed. And we'll just reform our lines back in. Nicely done, Prussians. Nicely done. Alright, their cab is just chilling back enough to cause me some stress but they don't really do anything with it. maybe I did lose my general all right well, I do know they lost theirs just now which is a good thing this is gonna cause them to pretty much get ready to completely route out so this was a pretty fun battle to start this episode off with Okay, now their calves going to decide to come in. Tis tis, they waited too long. So I've got to try to get over, away from my artillery so they don't hit my lines and then go into my artillery. But they aren't wanting to slow down to let me do that, so yeah. Alright. They smash right in the squares. Luckily they don't go in through or between and hit my artillery so that pretty much takes care of that and business is dealt with we have taken out their artillery and we can take it easy from here on just run them down So, there it is. Only lost 200, uh, just 199 men, so right at 200. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, looks like we're going to have ourselves another naval battle. Let's go ahead and get to that. Alright, so let's go ahead and add that 5th rate to the arsenal. Bank the rest. important contribution by the Swedes we definitely oh Savoy you pester me oh well you know that's just typical all right here we're gonna take this back oh my god I give up with auto resolve. All right, so we got uh, Rome besieged again. We'll hold them out for just a minute so I can repair up my guys, and they're going to try and sally out. So let's go ahead and finish them off here. So these traitorous rats some from Savoy are going to piss me off a, quite a bit. All right. Let's get set up to take them out. Now, keeping in mind that I only had four lines in this battle, the rest of the units are reinforcement. So luckily I did have enough time to get the reinforcing wing 
in to participate. So I think I have all six lines set up and my two artillery are set up on my right wing. Uh, but they're out of the action at the moment, setting them up. But I don't think there's units in range. They might be soon. I don't really get a lot of use, but I do end up getting my line hit here in the back. And I do form a square, but it's a little late. But hopefully they will withstand that. But notwithstanding would be the Savoy Infantry, which is getting pounded. Pounded pretty good. All right, we don't want our guys sitting around, so we're going to go ahead and move our lines up and around. Get this line back out of square so we can get it shooting. And, of course, another stupid cab wants to come in. So, back to square for you. Sometimes you just can't win. <clears throat> All right. So, we've got them wrapped up pretty nicely here. This one is just about getting to the end. And the, on the nice planes of Italy. I can't even think where I'm at. All right, time to put the bayonet on. That's what I just time to do. Only upward from here, boys. Trouncing on those dead bodies and nice. Should be ashamed of themselves. Luckily, we get into them until they get another ball. Sounds like they just got some relief. All right, so Rome is back in our hands, but I'm not going to stop there. Fight like a we'll be back in our hands. Looks like they got reinforcements coming, but not to matter. We will. The, we will prevail no problem no problem at all all right so the slightest movement triggered this so let's go ahead and get this done looks like we're fighting up against six line one artillery one cav and one general let's do it all right so we already got one unit down got our full army just about set up ready to go and the Savoy lines are already within range of our canister so now we can volley on them and uh, I think we already got one shot on them but just uh, didn't make it to the final cut just like these Savoy line probably won't make it to the final cut they're going to end up on the cutting room floor, if you will. See, my general just took a stray bullet, so let's get him back. Don't want him getting shot up. Possibly losing my general. Kind of like the guy. He's pretty nice. Anyways. Time to go ahead and put some more muskets of air on the right. And... The center is completely busted at this point. So, this one is about to be in the books. There we go. Not bad at all. Let's see if they attack again. Apparently not. I don't remember going that Fall way. Back. Fall down. But whatever. All right. Reinforce, but we're gonna just siege it. Get our guys healed up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this assault here. And yeah, there's not much in the fort, so their reinforcing armies are going to be what I'll have to deal with. And I think I got a plan for it, so let's give it a go. All right, so. The mission here is to hurry up and get in the fort as fast as possible. 
they do have quite a few reinforcing armies coming in so speed is of the essence so that's why I decided to of course do this tactic because I have the speediest of artillery ever these foot artillery I'm being sarcastic of course you can see the cab is already on me from one of the reinforcement armies and of course this is going to slow me up quite a bit and it is not going to be a good thing this delay you can see the two infantry units in the background just getting ever closer while we sit around here and play with a stupid cab all right so we do take care of one so we can go ahead and get two of our lines moving uh, you can see the other reinforcement army on the left coming close to the fort so things are looking quite on the uh, uh, how should I put it on the uh, slowpoke side on my my part so I, I don't know if the lines are going to go in the fort that you can see here in the middle left of the screen uh, they do decide to go in but it did cause me another delay because I had to leave some units on that outside just in case they did come out there I don't even get my lines formed up before they melee into me disaster is approaching I've got the countdown going I was hoping to wind the clock down but their reinforcement armies are all over me now I will say I have put my share of punishment on them as you can see the problem is is that you have to kill them down to the scene the last flipping man and that's going to really slow down the ability to shoot at other units because you're shooting at two stinking guys which makes it damn near impossible to kill when you got uh, of course the, the smaller unit gets the harder it is to shoot the guys that are left um, which I don't know why that makes sense but apparently it does so yeah it doesn't look good here I think it's about time I should be thinking about getting my general out of here so I can at least get him to safety. As you can see, another line is fast approaching uh, to the walls, about to come to the fort. And again, we are routing out a few units, but it's just too little too late. Man, just can't get these guys killed to the man. Here comes in another one behind me. Finally, one is gone. Now the other. I think that unit behind me is a very depleted one, so yeah. Not a big deal there. Get the general to do a cav charge here. Maybe we can pull this off. Ah, oh, jeez, I just lost the line. Alright, things are looking grim. I just lost two, uh, another line. I'm down to like two uh, sticks and a I don't know where I'm going with this. It's lost cause. Lost cause. Get our general out of there. Let's let's try to get out of here with at least the general. So, sending him off. Ah, uh, disaster, disaster, disaster. Not good. Should have been patient. Actually, I should have attacked the fort instead of letting them get reinforcements. This is what you get when you try to be too cautious and then too aggressive when you should be cautious all right so we're definitely going to intercept this guy didn't want him destroying our port okay so we're definitely going to have to pour some money into this war and we're going to do so by starting out hit them here they are pretty depleted so I mean this is what we definitely want to do alright so it's time to dish out some punishment and some revenge because I did lose my artillery and it took me a, a bit to get things back in order here but we 
did get another army recruited. Now we can take this meager army to try to take Rome again. Oh, God. Let's just hope, for God's sakes, we can make sure that we win this one. All right, so now we're set up and we're going to do our standard thing, which I should have done in the last battle, but we will, again, make up for lost time and hopefully lost men as well. So they are easily getting crushed, but they did get into my artillery, but luckily not a severe thing. All right. We've just about wiped them all out. You can see the balance of power is well in our favor. All we really have to do is march in and take control of the center of the fort because what they have left is pretty much nothing. I think this last unit that's kind of strung about seven miles across the battlefield here, you can see I'm going to canister it. It was half in the fort and half out, and there it goes. The remnants of it are gone, so nothing is in our way. We can march in and take the port. Alright, that's better. Getting back to form. I don't have much left here either, so let's go ahead and finish them off. Okay. Sweet. Get things back in order here. All right, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. So if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe. It does help keep you informed of videos when we have new ones coming out, especially if you click that bell for your notifications. So you are notified because you've just been notified. Anyway, subscribe. See ya.